So the year is off to a great start. I've seen a huge change in the air miners community, and we're only our first month into 2020. As you know, air miners is the biggest community of scientists, entrepreneurs, and engineers that are working to mine carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And over the past month, we've had some big kind of validation moments. So Microsoft has invested or committed to investing a billion dollars into carbon neutral and carbon removal technologies over the next uh, three decades. So that's huge validation because it means that this industry is just beginning. This industry is going to, going to be around and it's going to, it's going to grow. Uh, also saw some interesting validation from the military. The Department of Defense has invested in direct air capture technologies. They want to see more direct air capture technologies come about that can take carbon dioxide out of the air and make fuel with it. So that's all really cool validation, but it really comes, that's real, very top down kind of validation. That's big organizations making big moves. What I'm most excited about in 2020 is actually the bottom up stuff that I'm seeing is individual people doing really in interesting and powerful stuff. For example, uh, people after that, uh, after that email I sent about carbon credits, a bunch of people emailed me and asked like, Hey, I'm looking for carbon credits. How do I buy them? What makes sense? Other people have studied it all and like really gone through it and figured it out. And so it's cool to see this kind of awakening come up. And this is, this is the stuff you wouldn't see in the news, right? We hear about Microsoft's announcement or we hear about the Department of Defense announcement. This is stuff that's just, this is happening behind the scenes. People are uh, starting companies on Airminer Slack. People are planning conferences. This is just one, two people get together and say, you know what, what if we did, what if we tried this? And it's really working. Uh, this website called Climate Careers has launched. It's just a website focused on jobs in climate opportunity. And it's totally taken off. Uh, climate Scape is another website that launched. It's basically a big database of all the opportunities in the broader climate sphere. Uh, if you haven't checked out the podcast called My Climate Journey, Jason Jacobs is terrific. And it's just this very bottom up kind of view of like, we all need to figure this out. That's what I'm seeing as, as this, this turn in 2020. It's just so many more people saying, I don't have the whole picture. I haven't studied this for the last decade or more, but I know that this is missing and I built it. Here it is. And so that's super exciting to see tools like this, like Climate Scape, My Climate Journey, Climate Careers, seeing within the air miners community, more and more people come in, starting to have conferences, creating new startups, creating just new, new connections between people. So super exciting to see all that stuff and you wouldn't see it in the news, I'd love to hear what are you seeing in the climate world that otherwise wouldn't be in the news? What are you noticing about, about how you're thinking or about what other people around you are doing at an individual level? So hit me up in the comments and I look forward to, to seeing how the next couple months go with this new, with this new validation from the top uh, and, and the new inspiration coming in from the bottom.